Hello! Monsters of Anger and welcome back to Total War Warhammer 2, Mortal Empires, The Twisted and The Twilights. They're part of my little Orion playthrough. I think what I might do with this is once the embargo drops for everything, I might then stream the rest of this campaign, I think. Because I'll already have two campaigns on the go, so maybe I'll stream this one. Maybe that's what I'll do. I haven't decided yet. Very much uh, playing it by ear. But last time, we actually went and did some stuff. I know, amazing. We captured two settlements. We've got some love. Look at this. Lovely foliage being planted there. Lovely. Absolutely stunning. And uh, that is helping out the Oak of Ages. No end. It's now currently at 20 health. The healthiest it's ever been. And it's only going to get healthier. Um, I would like to go and knock out this little event over here, but it's I, I would have to trespass through other people's territory, and I think that would annoy them. Um, the other thing we really need to do is go and bop some green skins. I could go and smash my way through Karak Norn. Maybe we can just declare war. Maybe I declare war on Scarstick. Will he come this way? Will he walk this way? talk this way who knows um maybe we'll give that a try i need to bop him so that i can confederate i think it's findle wants me to bop green skin so we'll probably do that um what I, I want to get the lord of hunger because the elves of Athelren know that each deity has a time and place fair enough um that's going to reduce the upkeep for all why i don't know are we eating each other i don't don't know i just don't know Oh, the winds of pain. I don't know what happens if like there's no green skin. What happens if there's no green skins left on the map? What happens then? Do can we ever confederate with them? I guess if we get them to like maximum relations, we can probably just confederate the normal way. The quest is just another way to do it. Can we get a defense alliance? No, oh, go on. Um, what about? You have been granted access. No, you don't like me. Um, you? Dirthu. No longer part of the forest. No. Harsh, harsh and unfair, to be honest. Okay, if I hop here, I don't really want to upset the dwarves if I can help it, because I don't I don't need that kind of, I don't need that stress in my life. What we do need to do is go down and uh, bot Orion, but to do that, I think I'm going to need slightly better troops. So what I'm going to do is we're going to get some wild riders and we're going to get some gonna get some um magic on side as well because we we've been we were turned 28 and we have absolutely no casters and that's that's no good whatsoever so we need to get some casting support so i'm gonna get the hollow here it's gonna take four turns so we can get some some spell casting support and also get some more wild riders to replace our lost brothers died thanks to auto resolve you have been granted access to my halls don't make me regret my act of kindness. Do you like my halls? Aren't they spacious? Uh, not aggression pack. You want I'm not going to give you a fucking... Get out of here. Get out of here. I'm not giving you any cash. Oh, the absolute gall of it. Ready to serve. Oh, God. What now? What now? No immediate threats. Okay, good. Good. Um, I'm going to ignore that. Here. Although that does mean, of course, that now the... I mean, because currently we've got one health a turn. Now, that would take... Quite a long time. Well, in fact, we would never reach 500 at that rate. But um, it would take quite a long time if if it if it did. So I'm just go oh, it's going to trespass on the territory. But what if I offer to declare war? You may speak before my shield bearers and on the oath stone. Oh, okay. Um, look, I'm, I'll declare war, right? If you give me military access, really? Like I will join your fights. Can I go on your land? Absolutely fucking not. Why? No. No. All right. Screw. You. What about if I just declare war? Earthbound. Okay. Well, I mean, eh, that's fine. Where is that? I, right, I can go there. Something wrong with your All right. Looks like Scar Six lost his his main army as well. So that's going to make life significantly easier for us. I also could upgrade now. If I upgrade this, I won't have the. Mm, but. I'm not going to do it. I'm not. Gonna, I'm not going to upgrade the. I'm no. I'm not. I'm not going to do it. It's not happening. It's not happening. Uh, now, Akka, you're going to. I'm going to give you the dance of Loic. You can. You can just dance your little heart out. 
And we're not going to upgrade you, despite the fact that I have... I, I really want to. Okay, so Orion is a Pathfinder, and the Wild Hunt has started. It begins. Orion. I'm going to hop here. I'm going to do this. Now, hopefully that hasn't annoyed them too much. It's not too bad. It'll get better. And plus, trespassing on their lands will actually help out with some other people who don't like them. So... <laughs> Hello. Certainly not. No, oh, of course. You're so grumpy, Findle. Chill out. No, uh, um, no, no, no. I, I really want to upgrade. I, I, uh, it feels bad not upgrading Oak of Ages, but I, I need the cash. Hello. Hello, Slagger. Trying to sneak away, are you? No, you're not. No, you're not. Mother chuffing dead, mate. Ryan's Orc's Bane and Bold. Look at that. This one is no Craven. No, indeed not. Oh, okay, so we can... Conf right, so we have the option here. We defeated that army, which means we can now confederate with uh, Widrioth. So it's all too easy to deviate the intentions of the simple-minded greenskins away from Athelaren. As soon as you went to war against one mob, word quickly spread from warlord to warlord that the Fae were venturing out of the forest in search of orc and goblin blood. As is their instinct, they turn their attentions to finding you through their stupid brutes, would obviously never get very far in that respect. Lord Findle of Widrioth is pleased with your actions and sends word that he is open for forming a confederation with you. Alternative, you could leave him in charge of this glade and he would channel its energies to you directly. So we would get, now I believe this is per turn. So you could get 20 health per turn, I think, but I'm not 100% sure. And I don't want to test it because I want more stuff. So I'm going to take that, so we can confederate with Vitrioth, there we go. Uh, mostly because that's obviously going to give us a lot more income. How can I assist you? Well, I mean, you, you, you ask that, basically you're, you're fired. Um, there's a lot, I mean, look at all this. These guys, that's 400. I mean, Morlana here is 425. These guys together, almost 1.5k worth of stuff. Not to mention Findle himself. Basically, Wood Elves are just very expensive. Um, so we are going to... Um, ten, okay, what do we have here? So we do have the second rank. That's quite nice. We've actually got some spellcast support as well, which is double nice. And they're already up to rank four. So that's nice. Um, obviously, I quite like the grapevines, but... I don't think furs are worth it. I don't think furs are worth a slot. We could, though, get the Crag Halls. So that would give... I mean, reload time reduction for Hawk Riders. The campaign movement range isn't that useful because it's only for... If it was in, like, Athel Aren, that would be quite useful. But for, the, for just for local armies, um, I mean, that region isn't really big enough to warrant... I don't think I'm going to get too many Hawk Riders, so I might not, I might not do that right away. I do like the Deepwood Scouts, though. We do have... I mean, we can recruit more Hawk Riders. So that is an option. Um, you need me? Mm, nah, I don't really. I think we're going to fire all of these. Am I going to do that? Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Right, what are you like? You are a tactician. Right. Sorry. Um, explore other opportunities. And you... Ariel's chosen. Mm, it's not bad. What about you? You are cunning, so you get poison attacks, increase ambush success chance, which isn't the worst. But I think I'm just going to fire all of you, because Papa needs a new something. Oh, God, you. Perceptive? Well, I bet you didn't see this coming. Right, so far... <laughs> So, so far, so good. Um, now, we can get a spell singer, so I want to get one of those. Um, it's a tough choice, because of course, you know, Shadow Magic, very strong, a couple of very nice spells there. Life Magic, very strong, Healy spells. Beasts, Amber Spear, best spell in the game. So, it, it's, it's tough to pick. Um, I... I think we might go Shadow. I think we're going to get... Because, I mean, Disciplined is is good, right? Disciplined's just nice. Ready to serve. So we'll get you, your flappy... You, they always remind me of the avatars from um, XCOM because they've got the hair 
They've got the weird eyes, face, and they float. I don't think the avatar floats, but that's not the point. So we're going to get Mr. Fire Miasma. Let's get Penumbral Pendulum. And let's also get ooh, Smoke and Mirrors. Sure. Sure, let's do that. Okay, Akka ranks up. Good for you. Um, we could give you an Elven Steed. I'm going to just give... I think we're just going to go for more more melee defense no don't attack that you can only damage buildings and that's one of the worst agent abilities in the really i don't think okay fine i'll just draw i don't think that this battle's going to be that difficult surely surely it can't be that bad. I mean, come on. It's a bunch of goblins. I do love my gobos, though, to be fair. Do love a bit of Skarsnik action. Oh, yes. So we've got Warhawk Riders flanking around, taking some pot shots at some of these gobos. Not doing a lot of damage, but that's okay. We've got the Glade Riders on the flank. And then we've got a strong, a staunch line of ears. Definitely some ears there. Some spears as well. We've got the Deepwood Rangers and the Way Watchers in the forest whittling down those Forest Goblin Spider Riders because he's doing a lot of damage very, very quickly. And in come the War Dancers just to make sure. I'm, I'd like, you know, I know they get a charge bonus. I feel it's a bit unfair they get a charge bonus instantly upon turning on a dime, but never mind. The, the Squigs, as always, quite nasty and will be doing a shit ton of damage to our Glade Riders. Look at this. They're just getting absolutely mashed. Unfortunately, the Warhawk Riders coming in to the rear to save them, and more Glade Riders as well. That is then going to return the favour to the Squigs, who are going to get wrecked. However, our one unit of Glade Riders absolutely torn to pieces. Ow. Meanwhile, the Goblins fighting the War Dancers, the Azra Spit, and they're actually losing against Goblins? How the fuck is that happening? Hang on. Hang on. Right. So, right. 31 melee attack, 50 melee defense. These guys have got 25, 26. 32 weapon strength, 25 weapon strength. I know there's more of them, but still. What? They've both got this. I. Right. I mean, I know, I know they've taken a lot of damage, but still. What the fuck? Goddamn. Very hard battle difficulty. Goblins overpowering fucking war dancers. Jesus. Uh, Orion racking up quite a few kills there. Not doing too badly. Getting some nice shots on those goblins. The flank over here is a bit of a mess as the trolls really tear into our eternal guard. But these goblins breaking just before they get into combat. A few of those arrows getting lodged in our own units. We can definitely tell when it's our own arrows these days. Um, yeah, okay. That, that, was, that was a little bit late, guys. I feel like if you're shooting at the goblins, shooting as the... Never mind. Never mind. Right, we've got Skarsnik to deal with. And looks like a goblin bog bi a bog bis. Big boss. I can words. Me fail English? That's impossible. Jesus Christ, Orion. Did you Is he dead? Holy shit. That was amazing. Although <laughs> Brian's like, who just shot me? Some nervous looking wood elves. <laughs> He's got two fucking arrows lodged in his face. <laughs> Amazing. Right, our Glade Riders continue to do harassment. Uh, they're getting kind of, you know, uh, destroyed, but that's fine. They're just, you know, we're, we're going to replace them fairly soon anyway with someone someone better. Uh, there's a Goblin Shaman chasing after Ryan. I, I thought this was the big boss. If I'd realised it was the Shaman, I would have turned Ryan around and just stabbed him in the face. I mean, it's a, it's a bloody Shaman. What's he going to do? Tickle me? And there's Akka, of course, taking pot shots. She's been doing some uh, good work. 27 kills. Can we see how much value she's got? Uh, 206. I mean, it's not amazing, but uh, I'll take it. And that Night Goblin Shaman getting stabbed with a giant spear and cut to pieces by arrows. That's a lot of arrows. Off he goes. Right, now we just need to deal with Scarstick. So, most of Scarstick's army is broken. 
and is running away. Scarstick, though, is, is holding on for the moment. Now he's terrified. I mean, I, I don't blame him. There's quite a few arrows lodged in his head. And there's a big old horny boy chasing after him. There's more arrows. I mean, he's going to have to run pretty fast to outrun all of these arrows. They're coming in from all directions now. I mean, he's got... That's it. Weave. Don't do not do what they did in Game of Thrones. That kid, he got fucking wrecked, didn't he? Just dodge. Goblin's got one arrow through his tongue. That's got a sting. More and more arrows. More and more arrows. There's a lot of arrows coming in, basically. Scarstick is doing his best to run away, but unfortunately, he's just... He just can't get out of range quick enough. Oh. Nasty. Okay, that was a bit nastier than I thought it would be, but still. I mean, you know. Not bad. I like looking at the damage value. Look at these. The, I mean, the Way Watchers, 1,050. That's that's pretty good, actually. They are... Deepwood Scales only got 412. I mean, you know. Are they worth it? Arguably, maybe. Maybe they are. Um, Hawk Riders, though. You know, it's not bad, is it? It's all right. Not doing too badly. And I mean, even though the Glade Rider, they, they constantly get absolutely mauled every single battle, but they do they do do good work, so I have to give that to them. Um, I'm going to occupy this. We've got the Brass Cleaver. That's, that's quite a nice one there. We can give that to Akka, and then she can both buff the melee attack and defense of everyone around her, which is, uh, is quite nice. So yeah, you're going to get that one. There we go. And I don't think we can give you anything else, can we? I don't, do not believe we have anything else to give you. You currently have the Sword of the of Might. I could give you the Tormentor Sword, which would reduce the melee. Is, is that better? I think it is. I think we'll grab that one. Yeah. Yeah, we'll do that. Right. Uh, two rank ups, which is quite nice. Um, Lightning Strike would be... N oh, do I... Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we're always going to be outnumbered, so Lightning Strike, probably a good shout. Um, I'm also, yeah, increased mobility, absolutely. And because we're a little, we're looking a little bit battered here, so what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to get the Replenishment building, if I can, I can find it, there we go. 10% extra Replenishment, there we go. Now, we did, we, we've lost a couple of units, um, but once we've healed up, our army is still pretty, pretty good. It's mostly just the, um, the War Dancers we've lost, haven't we? They are. I mean, they're, they're very killy, but they're very fragile. As with many of the um, of the the Wood Elf units, they are just that little bit super squishy. Now we have the Hunter's Vault, which is going to give us that extra growth. It's going to generate ink. I mean, it's, it's, we're making making good money at the moment. Actually, it's not too bad. <laughs> Hello, can we have a trade agreement? Oh, God. What is, I, right, I... What I like about the Three Kingdoms one is that you can actually find out why. Like, what... what, Like, can I give you an extra 300? Would that do it? I don't know. Apparently, yes. But the nice thing about the Three Kingdoms one is to say, oh, you can just pay 300 and you'll accept it rather than just going having to guess because you go, oh, 300. It could be anywhere between 300 and... And 350,000. And you don't know. And it yes. would still say moderate. You're like, I don't, well, fine. Whatevs. Good. Um, now, I do, I, the, the way watches are expensive, but they did do, they did do good work, didn't they? They, they were doing, they were getting shit done. I'm tempted to get more. Um, I'm going to hold off doing this, or do I? Or do, mm. We've actually got a fair chunk of cash now. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to upgrade the Oak of Ages. There we go. Done it. Now, uh, is there anyone else we can... Who, who could we trade with? All you survey are loyal to me, so I advise caution with your next words. Non-aggression? No. All right, well, I think Sigmar is a little bit... Invoking Sigmar Ready. may be a little bit extreme. Uh, trade Lord agreement? Asterisk. My reasons are my own. Well, if you would tell me what your reasons are, I might be... If, like, if you're like, I don't want it because I want 300 income, then I'll be like, okay, well, that's fine. I can give you 300. Doc no, apparently not. What about a trade agreement and, and 600? Offer? 880? Fuck it. I don't, you know what? I'm not that invested. 
Fuck it, you don't want a trade agreement? Screw you. Basically, screw you. Uh, oh, I've got... Bloody, there's a spell singer down here. Uh, Air of Chosen. Nah, we're going to get rid of you. We've already got one. If, do I have any other agents that I don't know about? Uh, Lords and Heroes. Nope, just Akka and... The forest is whispering. Good. Glad. Glad it's whispering. Uh, fine. We've got an officer slot. Now, I... Is there anything that's just going to give us extra... Upkeep reduction for... I mean, you are the Lord of the Crags, aren't you? So that would make sense. There's nothing that's going to give us bonuses just for not having you on the on the campaign map. So I'm going to make you the Master of Scouts. Because that just kind of makes sense for you. The Hawk Riders and the Eagles and all that kind of good stuff. So Findle gets to be the Master Scout. Oh, the Beastmen have been killed. Okay, a young Glade Lord full of hope and naivety wishes a journey into the Dreaming Wood to recover a lost artifact. Headstrong and confident, perhaps to the point of arrogance, the Dreaming Wood is a twisted domain ruled by the Prince of Pleasure, Slanesh. To enter it is to dance with the Chaos God of Madness and Desire. Most who enter never return. Claim body and soul by the forces of ruin. Yet this Glade Lord seems self-assured. Do you allow him to recover this item or forbid the journey? So it's going to increase our Chaos Corruption by 15 for 5 turns. Ouch. But it will give us... A very nice sword to hit people with. Alternatively, I can say the fuck... What, what? No, absolutely not. And that will purify my land. Um, do I want a purple sword? I mean, yes is the answer. Get in there. Just kick him through the entrance. <laughs> uh, good. Uh, right. I... Do I want to give you this? Y yes. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Um, so for a few turns, we're going to have massive increases in Chaos Corruption. So that's fun. I say fun, obviously. Not not the most fun. Um, but that's that's okay. We're going to stay there for a turn just to heal up, I think. Um, we can also... Right. Now, I was going to do the the spell singer but we've now actually got i could do the as rifle and then we could get the the wild riders with shields couldn't we so let's do that that's what we're doing yeah balls to the wall uh now i could get the white I, the winter heart guards are unbreakable i mean sure we could do with a little bit more sturdy front line, in my opinion. So, absolutely. Um, I also want to come down and do... We've got some some events down here that I would like to do, potentially. So, let's skedaddle over here. To be honest, if we had some if we had some agents, we could actually go and attack, like, someone our allies don't like. Maybe? Was as was was as hag at seep gore. Oh, will you look at that? Interesting. Interesting. Good to know. Right. Uh, you may have noticed that there are actually some new factions. One of which is the Lemians. Lemians are somewhere in these mountains over here. So they have actually added some extra regions to the map now. They are mostly empty. There's nothing really there. There is a Lemian faction, but they've just got one settlement. And the rest seem to be just ruins. So I don't know. They were, I think they were just ruins. I don't think they're Skaven, though. I think they, it's just ruins. Um, but I'm not 100% sure. Okay, I think we're good to go. So let's hop over here. No? You're not going to tell me? Oh, there we go. Um, dwarves. Some dwarf miners have accidentally uncovered a tendril of the world roots. Dwarves, though stubborn, recognise wrongs, must be right, and have sent an envoy. They offer compensation, and even suggest they would use their runic magic to build a seal that will protect the world roots. The tree spirits are suspicious. They said dwarven blood will be seal enough. Um, God, these bloody these bloody tree spirits. Chill out. The dwarves are actually being nice for once. 
I'm just I'm just going to accept their apology. Like they found it, they've been like, oh, oh dear, um, we'll fix it. I'm like, yeah, absolutely, we'll fucking let them. Yeah, Jesus Christ, guys, chill out. Also, that's going to help. Um... Step forth, true friend of the angle. No. Oh, Christ. True friend of the Angron Trade Agreement? The fuck out of here. Jeez. Calm down. Diplomacy so angry in, in Warhammer. And I guess that makes sense. I mean, you know, the Warhammer world is filled with very angry people doing lots of very angry things. Um, let's get... Do I want the Forest Lookout? Do I want that? Or do we upgrade something here? Hmm. We could get... I mean, grapevines would give us more income, wouldn't it? So let's, uh, let's grab that one, I think. Perfect. So we've got raiding. Uh, hello? Hello, sir? What are you... What are you doing? Leonardo, what the fuck are you doing? You're just raiding me, you big prick. Uh, whispers from afar. Ah, so we've got the quests for Lelorn Forest. So we need to win battle, one battle against the following race, Norska. So we've got a little event there that will um, allow us to fight a Norskan army, and that will then allow us to confederate with Lelorn Forest. So um, there's a couple of options we have now. You have orders? I Well, yes. Hop over here. Hop over here. I mean, this is problematic. Also, we've got another event. Oh, no, that was the um, that was the confederation one. Right, yeah, we need to go over there and do that one as well. Um, also, I don't like the fact that you are raiding me. You come bearing arms. Is it war? You're literally stood outside one of my outposts, burning everything to the ground. What the fuck do you think? Get out of here. Absolutely not. Did you just call me scum? You little shit. The absolute bloody gall. Um, yeah, let's upgrade. Let's... I'd like some Wildwood Rangers. Sure, why not? Okay, he's not left. He's still sat outside, burning everything to the ground, which is... Well, annoying. To put it friggin' bluntly. Okay, let's go and trespass on these guys. Uh, doesn't matter. Okay, so we've got... Oh, well, we completed the next part of our quest, which is nice. Uh, we've also... Right, that's the Horn of the Wild. And then we've got Bretonians. Right. So they've been spotted venturing to the edge of the forest. So we can spare the Bretonians or we can kick the shit out of them. Now, the, the tree have, the tree spirits are already pretty shitty and plus we've got lots of chaos corruption. So I think maybe we should like kill them and cheer up the tree spirits. That will reduce... I mean, the thing is we need to kill some Bretonians anyway, don't we? So we're going to attack the Bretonians. Get them in a little ambush. We can lightning strike them as well, which will reduce their their leadership. I, I think that's fine. Sorry, guys. If it was up to me, I'd let you go, but I, I, I really want that confed. So the first thing we need to do is take out the knights, of course, deal with the knights and also the trebuchets, because both those things are quite nasty. Everything else should be fairly straightforward. It's just fairly straightforward to deal with. So we've already managed to rout one unit of knights, impressively. One unit of knights is out of here. Already legging it. We're going to uh, pick... Oh, we're take, taking out the trebuchets as well. Look at that. Uh, we still have two units of knights just darting past us. And then a unit of knights of the realm also chasing the glade riders around. So we've got some questing knights and some knights of the realm here. And unfortunately, I've been pulling my war dancers back. But we're just not moving fast enough. We're just going to have to charge and hope for the best. Get in there, girls. Oof. It's going to stink. Okay, I don't... I, I, I don't think that was as bad as it could be. And, and now they've lost their charge bonus and they're surrounded by spearmen. They are now going to start going down. They're actually trying to break back through. That's not going to work very well for them. They are starting to uh, rout as well. And here comes the enemy infantry. We're going to get a nice little hounds off here. Was it hounds or is it... Oh, it's the bombardment thing. It's not too bad. And the battle pilgrims charging in against our eternal guards. But they're doing so under heavy fire. And look at that, they're just breaking again. And that means, of course, they're going to get a lot of arrows right in the back. The Glade Riders are continuing to give those knights the run around. And we've got quite a few units sort of returning to the fight, rallying and chasing after our Deepwood Scouts. Fortunately, of course, we can shoot in all directions on the move, which means that these guys can just kite the shit out of them. So no problem there. They're also breaking the in enemy infantry, breaking away from the main line. And our Glade Riders now coming back to help out 
the Eternal Guard slamming into the back of the bil Battle Pilgrims there and chasing down fleeing enemy units, making sure they're not going to come back. These units of knights have been chasing us all around the battlefield. They are quite tired now. Well, they should be, but they're still active, so who the fuck knows. Um, but they are now coming back, and we need to we need to make them go away again before they, they come back. Some mystifying miasma there is going to slow them down. Going to get a nasty little charge on the war dancers. We managed to hit them in the flank with the Eternal Guard. That's kind of going to get them stuck into combat, so now the charge bonus is slowly dissipating. They're now taking a huge amount of damage from all of the rest of our units, and those knights have been routed. Nice work there. War dancers, yeah, very much a match for Bretonian infantry. They're going to tear through them like a hot knife through butter. We have a unit of foot squires also that were chasing the glade riders around the battlefield, and now they're in range of the archers. And before they even manage to get into combat, army losses takes effect, and they're running back down the hill from whence they came. Well, that was an absolute slaughter. That was great. Um, I will replenish. Now, that will count as one of the Bretonian forces we need to kill to confederate with, with Daeth over there. So that's quite nice. They have, though, run away. Maybe I should have finished them off. I, I don't think they can actually do us any damage. I, I don't... I suspect that we can probably sort of meander this way. Let's march, let's march out of Daith's territory because he's already a little bit narky about me. Oh, cool. I confederated with... with um, confederation penalty. Oh, because we confederated. Yeah, that's, that, that makes sense. That's why they, they're grumpy with us. That's fine. Will that go away eventually? Mm, I think so. I think we get confederation. There we go. Yeah, for one turn. That's fine. And we get minus public order as well. Wow, our public order must be tanking. I mean, this is looking very, very chaosy over here. Minus six. That's not great. Also, um, Tilia, fuck off. You come bearing arms. Is it well, you're raiding me, you giant prick. What do you think? I'm not super happy about it. Just FYI. Of God, what a knob. What an absolute knob. Right, well, we'll we'll take the cash. I they should charge us and die next turn. Uh, let's get upkeep reduction for all elf units because uh, I mean, we've only got elf oh, units. So, you know, win there. Um, let's get Quartermaster as well to reduce our upkeep and then we might even be able to get another army up. Oh, exciting. And uh, they can keep um, Athelren secure while we go off and they go gallivanting around the world uh, like... Carmen San Diego. Uh, let's start Acker. Do you want to? Do you want an Elven Steed? Do you want to run around with your, with your, uh, with your buddies? Do you want? Do you want to? Maybe, maybe. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's give back. She can lead our wild riders. You have orders. And you more pendulum because we didn't use pendulum last time, but uh, we didn't need to because we easily cut through all of those filthy Bretonian peasants. How dare you enter the hallowed halls of Hello. Alcohol. What do you want? Trade agreement? Oh, right. Now now you want a trade agreement. Jesus. <sighs> I swear. Yeah, that's that's what I thought would happen. And you're dead. I'm gonna proper stab you as well. Uh so we've got a quest issue there. That's one of uh, Orion's Quest battles. Bretonia is dead. We've got uh, Regiment of Renowned unlocked. Findel is ready for duty, should we need him. And, okay, that's going up. Good. Public order should be improving, although obviously corruption is is not great. It's going up to seven, it's, got, it's going up to almost 80%. The the Christ. I, will make it so. I mean, I, I, know, I know he popped into the evil wood place to go and get us a sword, but did, I mean, did anyone close the door after him? 
just asking because there just seems to be a lot of chaos corruption. Uh, let's get Quartermaster because that's always good. More money. You know me. Love my monies. Uh, let's get Foe Seeker because I feel like what you're going to be now, as much as I have thoroughly loved my Glade Riders, they are now surplus to requirements. They're out. And we're going to get... Why don't I have shields? Really? Two turns. Ready to serve. Okay. Okay, we'll do that. Um, what I'm also going to do is... Repl now, what do I want to... So that's going to take one turn. I live to serve Ariel. I would like more Deepwood Scouts, but I'd have to be in... I'd have to be over here to recruit them. Keep and I forgot that woods. was where I'd need to be to recruit them. Never mind. Uh, I could get some more... I mean, the War Dancers... The, I mean, the Spears are not the worst thing to have. So let's get a couple of them. I might get rid of the Eternal Guard without shields. The and hunter. then I think we're just going Wild Riders. I might even get rid of the Hawk Riders, but they, they could come in useful. I could get rid of one of the Glade Guard. Then four the units of Wild Riders. Falls. There we go. Bosh. Bosh, it's done. Uh, I now enfe the enfeebling foe would be probably quite nice to have, so we'll grab that one. Master so he's doing a little bit of recruitment, and the next turn he can do a little bit more recruitment, and then we will go and. If Leonardo is still here, I'm going to drop kick him into next week. Now I could be wrong here, but weren't the beastmen dead? Apparently Malagor's back with ugh, Cygors. Ugh. Ugh. Well, that's bad news, Bear, isn't it? That garrison is nowhere near strong enough to take that on, and they can reach us next turn. I want to. Oh, no, they, they probably can't actually. Yes. They probably can't. King's Glade should be fine. So what I'll do is I'll. I'll go and sit next to King's Glade. They can't reach the Oak of Ages next turn. They can't reach that. So what we can do then is recruit our Wild Riders. No, we can't because it's going to take it. Fuck it. Fuck it, we're getting them anyway. Uh, because I need them to deal with this little problem that's just turned up. Uh, will you go away? No. Sigmar can go to hell. King in the woods. That's where Sigmar can go. Okay, let's hop Away into the Oak of Ages. Now, the Oak of Ages is actually at 80 health. People. Look at this. Almost at our first rank, which is going to give us some, some benefits, which is uh, very, very nice. Orion. Now, I think... I get the feeling that the Beastmen factions just throw themselves at the Oak of Ages sometimes. They just pop up and they're like, yep, yeah, get it. Um... Which is, I mean, fine. Although, obviously, if you start as, say, these ladies, then you're quite far away from the Oak of Ages to go and protect it if it happens. So probably keep keep an eye out for that, just in case you need to use the Deep Roots to hop back and uh, fend it off. Uh, let's get more money, because I like the monies. And Malagor is going to come and attack us. Now, once we've beaten off Malagor rigorously... We will then hop over maybe to Lulorn Forest to go and say hello to them. Now, I could auto resolve this, but it's it's Malagor, the Dark Omen, so we will fight it. But that's going to have to wait until next time, where we might actually travel somewhere else. Maybe. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.